Do you remember me? Well, I remember you for taking down one of my videos. Yeah, really, pretty dick move right there, BuzzFeed. But hey, that didn't stop me. I managed to remake my video. And guess what? The video's not removed. <laughs> so, let's see how this video is going to fare. Without gender, the world as we know it would fall apart. You know, these guys are trying way too hard to make something as simple as a BuzzFeed video. Let's face the fact, it's fucking BuzzFeed. You can't make BuzzFeed look good by having this, you know, epic narrator. I mean, narrator. Excuse me. I mean, it just sounds fucking ridiculous. I, I could do a better job. Without gender, the world as we know it would fall apart. Male, female. The two genders were living together in harmony. Then everything changed when the non-binaries attacked. Without gendered clothes, choosing an outfit becomes nearly impossible. Um, okay, so they just pulled out a shirt they like. They honestly don't give a flying fuck of what, what one person wears. And quit using the word they in singular. For, for fuck's sakes, they're either male or female. But there's a reason why clothing is gendered. You know, dresses are usually aimed at women, and shirts, regular shirts, are usually aimed at men. Most of the time, women buy dresses. But there will be occasion, uh, on occasion that a man might buy a dress, either for himself or maybe for someone else. But that doesn't mean that the clothing is not is meant for men. It's usually meant for girls. For fuck's sake! It's just, it's just simple marketing. Well, watch what happens with razors. This person is using a non-pink razor on their legs. It will tear her skin to rag. Well, she must have some sort of leathered skin or titanium. Move along. This isn't even a straw man argument. It's like a fucking insult to people's intelligence. I honestly don't give a flying fuck on what razor you use. May it be for men or for women. It's a fucking razor. Seriously, who in the right mind would ever say that you must buy a Pacific razor because of your fucking gender? If you're quote-unquote non-binary and you want to use male or female razors, that is totally up to you. But no one gives a flying fuck. But you know what people should give a flying fuck? People like yourself ruining the fucking dictionary because of your feelings. Oh, the wage gap. Oh my god! Without gender, how would we know which one to pay less, hmm? Watch as anarchy grips these co-workers. They were doing it earlier. No, no one's this stupid! No one is this fucking stupid! Are you telling me that there is some form of secret evil organization known as the patriarchy just paying women less because of their fucking vaginas? Like, if we move gender entirely, they'll be so fucking confused and like, Oh, uh, duh, duh, which one do we pay less? Which one do we pay less? They're all fucking the same! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! No! 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 Done with this shit. See you assholes later. I actually came back from my bomb hat. I just realized that this bomb hat right here, it's a part of me. Without my bomb hat, I'm useless. And without this, and without me, this bomb hat is useless. You know, 
kind of like Full Metal Jacket, where you know your gun is useless if you don't use it. But let me talk about that segment right there, just for you guys. Okay. What they're basically trying to do is that if we remove gender entirely, the evil patriarchy will not be able to tell on who to pay less. Meaning that everyone will be paid equally. Despite the fact that there are multiple fucking factors that men have and women, you know, multiple factors that have this wage gap. Women earn less, not paid less. And you know, the thing is, is that, you know, this is incredibly fucking insulting to everyone who studied fucking biology. All the fucking scientists would be, you know, going raving mad over the idea that gender does not exist. Or at least, gender is a fucking social construct. I already debunked this shit too many fucking times. This is incredibly fucking insulting. I shouldn't even have to make a video about this. And yet here I am making a video on something that I already debunked multiple fucking times. I just sound like a goddamn broken record player. Here. Ah, the big one! With gender-neutral bathrooms, a sexual frenzy would unfold. Well, what if they heard each other fuck? That scenario will never fucking happen. Women are more conscious about their body. They will not feel comfortable sharing the exact same bathroom with someone with the opposite sex. I can't believe I actually have to explain this again. No, don't open that toy. It's the one I wanted. Uh, <laughs> you totally don't look like a total fucking creep with that doll in your hand. <laughs> Seriously, though. I mean, I understand if maybe a, like, a child might get happy over the fact that they got an adult. Because, you know, that, that's fine, that's fine. If, if they're happy with it, that's fine. But a full-grown adult male with a goddamn doll. I'm gonna find you a bit fucking creepy. Especially with that weird, creepy smile that, you know, you're happy that you got a fucking doll! Look, I understand if, you know, collecting dolls or, you know, collecting My Little Pony figurines is your thing. But I have every right to judge and every right to cringe over the fact that you have a fetish for My Little Pony. Me, I'm only a brony because, well... Despite, it's a good show. I just hate the music and, and, you know, a few other elements that makes it over the tone girly. But I still enjoy it. And, you know, um, I don't collect My Little Pony figurines. I just happen to like the show and some of the art. So, yeah. Masculinity will fall. My dog just died. Oh. This logic. If you're a man, then society expects you to be nothing more than an emotionless robot. So if something tragic was to happen, say like your father dying, you're not allowed to cry. You gotta suck it up and be a man. Yeah, that's what society tells you. Femininity will rise up. Oh, their bodies are crumbling under the sheer weight of the couch. Actually, we're fine. Oh my god! Two women lifting up a couch that looks lighter than a goddamn feather? Oh, the humanity! How stupid are you people? How much does that couch weigh? Maybe 30, 40 pounds? Any 
one can lift that fucking couch unless you're, you know, one of those fucking midgets. And if you're a midget, then I'm sorry, but, you know, it's true. Listen, that couch is nothing. My father lifts, you know, boxes, you know, that is heavier than that fucking couch. And, you know, he, he's strong. He's fucking strong. Me? <laughs> I could barely lift a thing, you know. But you know what? I bet you that me and WarCorp666, we don't work out. I, I doubt WarCorp666 works out. So, you know what? We could probably lift up that fucking couch with two fucking fingers. <gasps> and you wonder why? It's because men are biologically more stronger than that of women. We have more upper body strength. Sorry, girls, but it's fucking true. It's not fucking sexism. But according to this particular video, if we move gender out of the equation, then that fucking biology shit is out the window. You know, a man can, you know, th there's no such thing as men and women. You know, there's like male body and female body. The female body could lift as much as the male body because, you know, Gender is a fucking social construct. You know, nothing is true. Everything is fucking permitted. For fuck's sake, this makes as much sense as me changing my shirt out of nowhere. Why am I wearing a John Cena shirt? Watch pandemonium take hold of these peers. The disgust and contempt she has for people not conforming to gender assumptions. You can't do pastels. Here, try magenta. There's one thing that I never understood. Why the fuck do people even paint their fucking nails? Especially their fucking toenails. It's not like we're gonna see them or anything. And, you know, even if we do, it's not gonna be all that impressive. But, um... No one is stopping no one from, well, painting their fucking nails. It's up to them. You know what kind of men paint their nails? Drag queens, cross-dressers, feminine boys. I know these people because, well, I've been to places, places around the internet, sometimes so fucking dark that it makes you lose your fucking mind. The only reason I mind because I already lost mine years ago. Damn it. Much better. Thanks, Hannah. That was the wrong color for him. I knew it didn't look right. He is more of an autumn. This video is one of the worst videos that I have ever responded to. I knew BuzzFeed was bad. I knew BuzzFeed was incredibly fucking stupid. But now they reach a low. A low so unbelievably dumb that to insult them, to call them a piece of shit, would be a fucking compliment. It would be a goddamn upgrade for them. If a piece of shit had a conscience and I were to call a piece of shit BuzzFeed, piece of shit would be fucking offended. I just wish I was as popular as Sagan of Akkad, or at least, you know, the likes of Baron. You know, if I had, you know, at least 5,000 subscribers, and then, you know, a large enough fan base, then I would at least be able to, you know, create a collaborational video where I would have a couple of YouTubers ask questions towards BuzzFeed. Because how fucking retarded can BuzzFeed get? I'm just done. Fucking done. Till then, I am the atheist gamer. There is no God.